Hello, my name is Miles Brining, and today I'll be taking you through this week's question and answer session from us here at Innova. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this week's question is, how does the feature freeze bar work, and what does it do? Okay, so let's just flip into SolidWorks. Okay, so I've got this part file in SolidWorks. Now, at the moment, uh, there's a number of features in here, quite a few. If I was to have a look under the Tools menu and look at Feature Statistics, this part in total takes 3.47 seconds to rebuild. Now, the reason for the freeze bar is sometimes you can have part files which are even larger than this and they take an awfully long time to rebuild. So by turning the freeze bar on and then rolling it down, we can like freeze specific features in the tree and then when the rebuild occurs, it will not include these features because they're kind of like frozen out. You can't edit them while it's in this state, but it means that if you had one feature that took like a minute to rebuild, you could freeze that down, and then from that, you can then work on lower features in the tree happily without having to wait a minute every time you rebuild it. So you have to turn it on. It's not on by default normally, so I have to go to the Options button up here. And then I need to go to uh, Enable Feature Freeze, which is here. It's on the first page actually on the system options and then just go OK. And then you see you get this bar appear on the, uh, the left hand side just under where the, uh, the file name is, is displayed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this all the way down this list and just put it right to the bottom. And I'm just going to rebuild the current configuration. If you have multiple configurations it's sometimes worth doing. I'm just going to do this one because it's the quickest way to do it and you can see here they're all locked and grey so I can't actually edit any of them at the moment but if I have a look now under tools and then feature statistics again you can see that the uh, total rebuild time now is zero seconds All right. so if you can imagine that you have four or five part files which are in an assembly and they all take ten seconds to rebuild when you do a rebuild on that um, assembly it's going to take 40 to 50 seconds just to rebuild those files. So if you were to free leave them in this free state for this configuration, for instance, what will happen is when you go and rebuild that assembly, because the rebuild time in here is now zero seconds, the four, the four or five files that you had originally, rather than taking 50 seconds, is actually done instantaneously. And this can save you a hell of a lot of time when you do have heavy features and you're not there sitting for rebuild uh, rebuild times to occur. So if I was just to drag, so you don't have to drag it all the way to the bottom, I could go halfway and then I could work on these features down here and then these ones are just frozen at the top. So if I was to go to, to feature statistics again, you can see it's now 2.5 seconds. So uh, see it's gone up slightly. So I'd say most of the probably heavy features are at the bottom end to be honest. But again, it's a nice way to kind of just freeze the, 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 you know, the heavy features in the tree. I'm gonna, when you're done, you can roll it right up to the top and then the tree will fully rebuild as normal. Thanks for watching.